Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing fantastic. And today I got a new subscription box for you. But before we get into it, make sure you are subscribed to the channel and ring the notification bell so you do get notified when I upload new content. And with that, friends, let's do it. Alright, so we are back with a new subscription service. This is a company called Tipsy. T-I-P-X-Y. I will have a link to them in the description box of this video if you are interested and want to go check them out. This is something a little bit different for the channel. This is a alcohol subscription service. And for this, I have enlisted one of my great friends, the other Brad, to come help me check out this box and this service. This box was provided to me by the company and I'm greatly appreciative. And if you are interested in this type of service, sound off in the comment section down below. And if I get enough people that are interested in this particular service, I will reach out to the company about getting an affiliate link for you guys, maybe save you some money. Because this is a quarterly box and it's pretty expensive. It runs around $199. They do give free shipping and just kind of a disclaimer here, the, if you go to the website, they also have alcohol that you can buy directly from them. So you don't necessarily have to get the subscription box. The subscription box is something that we're going to talk about because it's, it's kind of more about a discovery, not just about you know getting certain types of alcohol delivered to you. Now, the way the website works is you go there and when you subscribe to the box, you pick your category. Obviously from bourbon, whiskey, tequila, vodka, gin, or rum, or you can do a variety. And I believe the way I did it was I just specified from which categories the variety box would draw from. You can change this at any time. So if you subscribe to the box and you just get tequila and you kind of get tired of tequila, well, you can go and you can eat, you can reach out to them and you can change where, you know, whatever sent to you comes from, which is really nice because it gives you that little bit of variety. If you do a 12 month commitment on these quarterly boxes, they will drop that price down to $719. It is steep, but we're talking about three 750 milliliter bottles of alcohol. These aren't samplers, these aren't testers, these are full size bottles. So, I think that's it. I think that's everything. You ready to get this box open? Absolutely. All right, let's get this, let's get this bad. This is a big box. You can see this is a big old box. So, we're gonna get, it, get her open and see. And they got a thing here that I don't know if you guys can see this very well, but it says, welcome to the Tipsy Flight Club. Maybe we offer you a drink. All right, so uh, I tell you, let's just throw that stuff on the floor and let's just pull the bottles out. You get them too, I'll get these two and throw that box on the floor. Let's do that. And like I said, what I, what I chose for them to send to me was, I told them just to send me a, a rum, a vodka, and a whiskey or bourbon because that's primarily what I drink. So, so that's what we went with. All right, you can go ahead and open that one. I'll go ahead and open these two. And like I said, this is you know the the this is pricey, right? It is pricey, but you gotta think you're getting three full size bottles. So keep that in mind as we're going through this, right? Don't don't let the uh, don't let the price run you off. How about that? Should have used one of your knives you got in your subscription box to cut this open. Yeah, yeah, that's actually a good point. Which one we gonna use? I don't know. Use we this got? one. Here, use that one. Okay, so one of the things we did get, we got the three bottles here, and we got some, uh, we got a little box here from Tipsy. What is this? Boy, is it glued open? Oh, no, there we go. Okay, we got some, we got some whiskey stones, some cooling stones there you can put in your glass, and a little bag for them, it looks like. All right, and they gave you six, so that's cool. That's really good. Throw these, throw these in the, wash them up, throw them in the freezer, and you can put them, if you don't like, you know, your, your, particular beverage to be watered down, you know, you can uh, chill it with these and not have to worry about getting water in there. So that's, that's, that's really nice. And it does have this cool, nice little like burnt looking box. And it does have their logo, the Tipsy logo on there. It says uh, Whiskey Stones. So there we go. Hmm. And we also got this thing from, what, what is that? Coit? Coit Spirits? <laughs> yeah. Tiki cocktail with pineapple and lemon. This is a gin with natural flavors. And what is that? Oh, carbonation? I can't, I don't have my glass. That's carbonation. Yeah, carbonation. Okay, so yeah, so they did give us this. So this, I don't know if this is always 
part of the box or not. Or maybe this is something they give you, you know, for your first, you know, when you first get your box. They, they send this stuff as kind of a welcome to the party kind of, kind of situation going on. All right, so like I said, I did choose a whiskey, a rum, and a vodka. So what we got here, how would you say that? How would you say that? <laughs> I don't think I'm allowed to say that on your channel. <laughs> okay, so this is this is a uh, this is a whiskey, a single grain, uh, aged three years. Like I said, 750 milliliter bottle. I'm gonna say Fook, okay? Because because I'm not I'm not gonna say what what I want to be immature and say to that. But this is a Japanese. This is a uh, Japanese whiskey, 40% by volume, okay? And I'm pretty sure, you know, I don't know. I haven't done any research on this, so I'm pretty sure it comes from a from a certain prefecture that probably, you know, specializes in making whiskey, I guess. But here's the question. I have not ever seen this. I have not tried this. Have you? I have not either. Okay. So this is the whole point of a subscription box like this is that you're gonna get things that are not normally in your, say, wheelhouse. Okay, and this is the rum that we got. This is a John Emerald Spurgeon's rum, barrel aged rum made with Alabama sugar cane syrup. Now, you know I'm in Alabama. I'm down here in lower Alabama. This guy used to be in Alabama. He's over in Louisiana now. <laughs> but this stuff comes from Opalaca, Alabama, which is up there by Auburn, right? Yep, roll yeah. tide. Yeah, roll tide. They won today, so they, they barely pulled it out. But it's okay. <laughs> Texas A and M, they got them, so we're happy. Okay, so this this is interesting. This is a uh, this is a rum that's made here in Alabama. So that's awesome. That's that's really awesome. I did not know that this was even a thing. So already, you know, I got something from my from my own state. So that's really cool. Okay, and then I got a vodka, and this is a Mary White premium vodka. Okay. It's Belgian. Okay, this is a Belgian vodka. Again, I am a heathen, so I drink Smirnoff with orange juice. That's the way my dad did it, and that's the way I do it. So I don't have a whole lot of experience with, uh, with vodka. So I, I definitely don't know this. I tell you, it's got a really cool bottle. The bottle's kind of marbleized, so I really like that. That's really, really neat. So we'll have to try this, too. So here's the thing. Here's an interesting thing that I learned from the Google. Oh, the Google. The Google, you know, you think... Uh, a lot of, of vodka comes from potatoes, right? Because, you yep. know, they talk about, oh, the vodka, you know, you just get you some potatoes, you can make some vodka, right? Zombie apocalypse. Down here, potatoes grow everywhere. You just, we're going to have vodka coming out of our ears. You know that, it, that Google says less than 3% of vodka comes from potatoes. 3%. I was shocked. Well, what's the other 97? It's grain. It's a single, single grain. I did not, this is not, this doesn't come from potatoes, I believe. This is probably a grain. Yeah, well, that explains even Smirnoff. Smirnoff doesn't even come from potatoes. So I, I, I just, that blew my mind. I, I was running around thinking that like all the vodka, if you drink vodka, it came from potato. Well, not not I, so. I guess that explains why Ireland's not uh, top vodka out, <laughs> out order. <laughs> probably, probably. Okay, so this is what we got in this particular subscription box. And like I said, you can see these are full size bottles. These are not, you know, no skimpy little skinny bottles or nothing. So what we're going to do we are going to talk a little bit. We're going to tell some stories, and we're going to try all three of these. Okay, so we're going to, we're going to cut real quick. I'm going to get all these bottles open. We're going to get our tasting glasses out, and yeah, we're going to try these out. We're going to give you our a very very expert opinion. Expert opinion. It's coming right up. All right, so we have our order that we're going to try all these. We came up with we're going to try the Belgian vodka first because when we opened it up and we smelled it, kind of smelled like rubbing alcohol, at least what he said. He said it, it went into my brain, and I smelled rubbing alcohol, so that's probably what I think it smells like now. And then we're going to move from the Belgian vodka over to this whiskey because it is whiskey. And then we're going to end with this rum because the rum probably has more flavors to be extracted than these two. So that's the order in which we're going to do this. And so we're going to start with the vodka. And while we are doing this, my co-host here is going to tell me what he thinks about this particular service. Uh, well, first of all, let me say thanks for having me on your show again. We did a uh, video together a little while back with uh, tasting the MREs. Yes, and I that, made you taste the MREs. <laughs> so if you haven't seen that one, that was that was a fun one. So uh, when you first invited me on, uh, I didn't know if I was honored or offended because you said you had a an alcohol box to taste, 
So did you think of me because we're really good friends or because I'm a drunkard? And I haven't been able to get that out yet, so... I think it's six of one and half a dozen of the okay. other. Okay, all right, I'll, um, ac I'll accept that answer. Um, you're a heavy, you're a heavy drink, but hey, everybody drink responsibly. Don't drink. don't be dumb. Drink responsibly. We can be, you can be a drunkard. Be a drunkard in the privacy of your own home. Don't get in the car. Don't be dumb. Don't do nothing stupid. Or a friend's home. Or a friend's yeah. Or a friend's home yeah. Okay, uh, now I, I do have my my whiskey glasses that we're gonna be drinking all these out of, just so we can nose it, even though you don't really nose vodka, but it smells like rubbing alcohol. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to tell you. First impression, it is definitely not like Smirnoff. Smirnoff has that kind of peppery, peppery kind of taste to it. This does not doesn't. at all. No, it doesn't. That's um, It's not bad. No, it, it, it tastes better than it smells. That's for yes, sure. Yes, it, it definitely does. It does, it does taste better because I know the I know we talked about the rubbing alcohol just then, but it doesn't have that strong alcoholic burn right yeah so it's and it, it, doesn't, it doesn't have a bad aftertaste yeah it's light on the tongue if that makes yeah. sense it's yeah. light on the front of the tongue and it's actually pretty good yeah it's not bad mm -mm. oh but no to your uh to your other question no the i like the idea of this uh the subscription box because i like what you were talking about where uh you mentioned before like we i don't i haven't seen this in any liquor store anywhere around here or where i'm at in louisiana so these are all new to me and it was especially nice to see something made in alabama which i didn't know that they did so now, I'm interested in possibly subscribing to this just so I can try to get a little, you know, a little bit more drunker and, you know, yeah. a little bit of writing. And actually, that, that was my number one thought when, when uh, you know, I thought about looking when I, or when the company reached out to me and then I did my due diligence like I always do because I'm not really prepared like that. But I thought, well, this would be something good for someone wanting to discover, right? You're not going to buy this wanting specific things this is going to be the box that you get delivered every quarter and you open it and just like you and me you just did here it's like man i have not tried any of this stuff yeah. and in that this is where you're going to you know be surprised you know and you're going to find something that hey maybe hits the spot or looking for a certain taste that because let's, let's face it you go into a liquor store tons absolutely tons of variety absolutely. and it, especially if you're someone who's new two spirits you go into a store and you're you can be overwhelmed you, you cannot know what to get and what what do the majority of people do just because i know because i've asked they ask the person working behind the counter their opinion they say give me you know hey can you have a recommendation an opinion you know one way or another or you may see somebody like in the bourbon section standing there you know making their selection you may say hey man you know what what what's good you know well this kind of helps Make make you more versatile in your exposure and in your knowledge, you know. So I think this is I think it's a really interesting thing. It was definitely something that I did not think that I would ever see. A subscription box where they're gonna send you some alcohol. I never thought I'd see it. But, you know, you can get a subscription box for almost anything yeah, nowadays. Absolutely. And to be honest with you, I'm I'm really looking forward to getting one for candy from Japan. <laughs> Speaking of Japan, we're gonna get into there this. We go. Uh, Fook. 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 If this was rated R, I'd be saying something else, but we're not. We're, no. keeping, we're, we're keeping it. We're keeping it G. We're trying to keep PG. it G. PG. And what's I'm going to tell what, you, the what's nose... That initial, what's that initial... Oh, man. It, it, it's got a good nose. It's got a good nose. Kind of caramel... What is that? Know, it's, a, it's hard for me to put my finger on it. There's a hint of something sweet in it. Yeah. Hmm. It smells good though. It does smell pretty good. It doesn't. It doesn't smell strong. It doesn't. No. Sm it doesn't smell like it's going to have that really bad burn. You know, on, on initial when you when it initially hits your tongue. You know, you get a lot of bourbons, a lot of whiskeys. They'll they'll hit your tongue and they'll just it'll just light you up. You know, this don't feel like it has that. Now I could be wrong. Let's let's try and see. Mm -hmm. Got toast up. Okay. Ooh, the the taste comes through really strong. There, there's a really strong. There's a there's a strong. Did you spearmint almost or something? Did you have two 
waves of flavor. Yeah, yeah. Like initially when it first hit my tongue, I got something. And then it immediately, once it rolled a little bit past my tongue, it, it got into a different flavor. Yeah, maybe, maybe a, it's, it's a, like mint, a, a mint. A mint, it is, yeah, like, a, like a, a mint kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah, very, man, that's interesting. I've never had something almost change flavor like that. I think it tastes different the second time. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's smooth. What's uh? It's not harsh. It's not harsh to drink. No, it's not. It, yeah, it's definitely not like uh. It don't light you up. I know that. No. What was Jim Bean or yeah. Evan Williams? That's none yeah. of that. So that. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of stuff that like some of this stuff, like this Johnny Walker Blue Label. Uh, the blue, the Blue Label's pretty. It's pretty smooth. But the yeah. Glenfiddich is thirty. When oh, you yeah. get these ones that sit for a while, they get they can get they can hit you pretty hard. Yeah, they can hit you. And this is a what three year? Yeah, three. Yeah, this is a three yeah, year. So have, it's not bad. You have to be a fan of these. This is an acquired yeah. taste. So yeah. that's if you're just looking to, I guess, just catch a buzz or yeah. enjoy a whiskey. I mean, yeah, if you're just sitting around, you know, and and you even yeah. even if you added some water to it, you know, to kind of dilute the flavor a little bit, it would, this is very very drinkable, very sippable, definitely. Yeah, absolutely. I uh, I don't agree with my uh, host here about uh, the putting water in that. So, well, you know, hey, sometimes sometimes water enhances the flavors, <laughs> man. You know, I don't I don't knock it until I did it, and I started adding a little bit of water with, with some of the bourbons that I drink, just to because I thought I was helping mute the flavor so I could drink it. <laughs> little did i know that's really not what i was doing no. you're still getting the pack you know you're still getting the punch whatever it's going to give you but yeah it will it will mute the flavor a little bit or and sometimes it can even enhance the flavor all right now this is something i'm curious about yeah roll time i want to see what some opalaka opalaka mm. rum tastes like mm, there you go and like i said we saved this one for last because this one's definitely going to have this one's definitely going to have the most as far as uh, flavors are concerned, party we're, fouls. we're gonna get we're gonna get more flavors out of this than probably these other two. There we go. We've gotta have about the same amount. Oh, that's an interesting nose, man. Is that it? is interesting. Let's turn it back around. There we go. So this is barrel aged rum, made with Alabama sugar cane. Oh, that smells like a leather a leather storm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't it? Smells like your dad's belt or something. Yeah. Like that. Man, this takes me back to get my butt whipped, man, yeah. at home, man. Dude, it, right. it just, you know, if you go into an old, like, if you go into a boot store, you know, you know, it's got oh, all, the, all the leather, yeah, yeah. dude, and Absolutely. you know that smell hits you? Yeah. Dude, that's exactly what this smells like. Oh, man. I, I, dude, I don't know. I'm kind of weary now. Right, yeah, I'm, I'm right there with you. There I'm hoping, go. I'm hoping this is good, man. This is we got to represent Alabama. <laughs> I, I can't say it. I can't say it sucks, man. Cause well, I mean... I'm gonna lie either way. If it's terrible, yeah. I'm gonna say it's I'm gonna great. Say, just I'm gonna because... say I'm gonna say it's good just because it's Alabama. <laughs> I'm gonna say no. This this stuff here, this this is good rum right here. This will be this, right. this will be for the mojitos or the, or the, yeah. the daiquiris, man. <laughs> you just put some pina colada in there, it'd be all right. It killed all. It'll it'll, it'll, all ki right. it'll kill the rum t taste. All right, there we go. Salute. Let's try this. Now that's strange. It it hits your mouth. Just like it smells. Yes. Then, and then, and then, just a second later, it it, it transforms the taste. I was once about you, once to you say salivate, the exact same thing. Absolutely. It's, this is weird. This is something that literally it tastes just like it smells. That's crazy. It's not bad. It's not bad. Once you get it in your mouth and you get a little saliva to mix in with it, it'll neutral. And it, maybe it helps neutralize it, but it doesn't like swallowing it. It's not. It's a completely yeah. different taste. But hitting your mouth. Now here's the thing. What would you? What would you? Would you think mixing this, using this as a mixer, would be be a good rum? Uh, that would, I don't know. What goes with leather? I don't know. I, that's the only thing. I just don't know what goes with It's not bad. I just it, don't dude, know. It's crazy. If you've never had this rum before, you smell it, and it's, it smells like a leather shop. And that first hit, that first hit on your tongue and your taste buds, it tastes just like it smells. That is uncanny at how much it, it does. Yeah, that's odd. I wouldn't. Wow, yeah. Yeah, I don't know what I'd mix it with. I know this is, that's mine. You'd be able to mix that with whatever you want. This you can drink straight. Yeah. This would be interesting. I'm, this vodka, this Belgian vodka, I think it would be the way it tastes. It, it'd be interesting to mix with, I hate to say this, like something like orange juice. I, w I would like to try that one, orange juice. Good old screwdriver, huh? Yeah, old screwdriver, man. Old faithful. You got some juice in the refrigerator? No, I don't have none. <laughs> I thought about getting some, and 
And you know, I was like, well, I didn't know what we were getting, so I didn't know. I could just went to the store and bought everything, but, but yeah. I tell you what, take take a sip, take a sip and hold it right in the front of your mouth for just about two seconds, and you, you'll get a really, it's almost a caram caramelly kind of kind of a hit. It was, it's weird. It's weird. I mean, it's the, you can definitely taste the cane syrup. Yeah, the like, cane syrup definitely comes through. Yeah, for, that's for real. Yeah. But I just taste the cane syrup, but that's just the, I can't believe it tastes like it smells. Yeah, that, and I know, that's crazy. And I know somebody, I know most of the people out there have had that experience smelling something and then tasting it. It's like, it's, it's just like it smells. And it's. Well, when, when you drink, when you drink normally, how, how, what what would you say the percentages of of whiskeys or bourbons that you smell translate that strong into taste? Because I can tell you this, it's unless I really get into some really barrel aged stuff yeah. that's been in the barrel to where you're literally like taking your tongue and licking across the ground, <laughs> just, you know, because yeah. it's got such an earthy <laughs> taste, and they smell that way. Because those are those are bourbons or whiskeys that are made to you know you're supposed to be smoking a cigar with them you know so your taste buds are pretty much blown out anyway, and I know I'm going to get a lot of flack from you know you know drinkers you know professional you know whiskey sippers or whatever, but uh, but to me it's it's very strange to me to have something on the nose and have that smell literally 100% translate into taste that is well then let me ask you this how many times have you had a rum that tastes like that i've not, like i know there's like i know I've there's not. coconut rum and i know there's different flavored rums that they pop all the sugar in and stuff like that but yeah just a rum with cane sugar though like i haven't that's what I'm saying. That's, i haven't because because here's the thing most of the rums that i have experienced with which again is another reason why i have a subscription box like this is mixer rum yeah it's straight up it's going in a daiquiri yeah or you know what else makes rum awesome if you go to galaxy's edge at, at disney and you get the uh uh, the blue the blue drink like the blue milk yeah. that everybody says oh. is absolutely disgusting <laughs> they will they will make it you know as long as you're an adult they'll put rum in it really yeah my wife had it that's the blue milk that uh, mm -hmm. Luke was drinking right yeah, and, yeah. And the, oh. <laughs> she got it and we, when we were looking at the menu up there it says hey you know if you, you know adult you know you can get it with rum and Carrie can drink rum you know and I said well hey put rum in it she put rum in it and I got it on video of her tasting it and she said it was really good with the with the rum in it not just getting it and drinking it because a lot of people say oh this is the most disgusting stuff ever you know but apparently you put a little rum in it you know it tastes good mm. but yeah with enough, but, I mean, with, enough many, with enough rum sooner or later it will taste it good. will taste good yeah you'll be you'll be dreaming about about leather belts and leather jackets <laughs> and stuff man very interesting yeah this this has been a very interesting subscription box very, yeah, nice, very I, interesting. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I like it, and I'm considering signing up just to get a couple of bottles, get a couple of them to actually see what's going on. Because I definitely like these two. The rum, I, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about the rum yet. I don't either. I'd be curious to see because it's such a it's such a strong flavor. Like even if you did like make a mojito with it or a pina colada, I don't. I, could you imagine drinking a pina, a pina colada with that rum? No, I can't. The, it would be. I don't think it would be good. It, I don't either. This is one of those things to where you would come over to the house and I'd be like, hey, did you, have you ever had rum from Opelika, Alabama? And you Here, said, try, no. Try, try this. Let's, let's try some. So that's where that would sit and probably be until it went out. These two I could see myself drinking for sure. So I do like Mary White. Woo, man, I tell you what, that, that leather, man. And it, that's, how do you pronounce that one again? Fook. 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 We're not saying, we're not doing no expletive deletes on this channel, man. <laughs> We're keeping we're keeping it PG. Yeah, I tell you what, the yeah, the rum, I was really going I was really rooting for the rum. Yeah. God, dog. Yeah. But it's that it's if you haven't had this rum before, Spurgeon's rum, definitely try it. Definitely try it. You gotta you gotta at least try it once. Matter of fact, I might let you take that bottle home to some of your some of your, your neighbors and stuff, let them try it. Let all the Louisianians know what Alabama rum tastes like. Yeah. Yeah. I'd be okay with that. Yeah. All right, so this has been the Tipsy Flight Club subscription box. And like I said, I will have a link to them in the description box of this video. Now, they do on their website, besides you know this box that you can get, they do have regular selections like these bottles right here. You can buy these bottles directly from them. Now, well, the thing that I was kind of a little bit weary on was the shipping because in Alabama, 
because I actually looked it up because I was curious. I didn't think we could get alcohol in the mail. Well, we can as long as it like the shipper originates in Alabama. So if it's just going from Alabama address to Alabama address, it was fine. So this company does have like drop point shippers, I guess, oh, or yeah. shipping people in in most every state. So they can they can get you the stuff. I I think it's every state. Or if it's not every state, it's only like a few, like maybe one or two that they can't service. But then again, you can you can reach out to them on their website and say, hey, you know, can you send it yeah. to wherever I live at, you know, whatever. But more than likely, they, they probably can. Because that's what the particular uh, individual that I was communicating with at this company, they said, no, nah, man, we, we can get you the box. We can get you the box. And I'm like, all right, cool, brother. Send it on, man. Yeah. I'll sit here and try this stuff. And like I said, this is to me, it's a really good idea. I mean, oh, just, I just, just your, your sentiment on it is like, yeah, you know, you're interested yeah. just because, you know, hey, just to get something different, you know, and to have it curated for you. And it, it, it you know, I don't know, it's just, it takes the, it takes the, the edge of disappointment. If you don't like it, blaming yourself, because now you can blame somebody else and say, well, I didn't buy this stuff. They just sent it to me. I'm not responsible, but, um, they do. The, the, all these selections that they choose from to send out in the description boxes, it, I think they said it has to have a 4 out of 5 rating. I think they, sent it, they, I th I think they said something like that. It's like a 4, a four rating you know, on their website. Talking about the, uh, have, the, bo the bottles they send you. Like They won't send you something like if they, if they get something in and it's, it's, rated po it's, it's poorly rated. Yeah. They, they will not send that to you in your box, which makes me wonder now. Who rated this? Who, who, who rated, who rated the this? Four out of five. Because this, this who, do a, you, who do you think? It's a solid three. I mean, I'll you, give it a three just I'm because gonna I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna give it a three because it's from Alabama. That's fair. But enough. that's, but that's, that's, but that's I'm it. not going any higher. I'm not gonna go any higher. I can easily see these being four out of five. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna tell you something. This John Emerald, John Emerald, what distilling company? I'm gonna have to check them out and see because I'm pretty sure they they do more than just rum. I'm pretty sure they do more than rum. Yeah, have to so you'll have to, we'll have to check them out. All right, guys, if you made it this far, you're awesome. I thank you. We thank you. And we're going to do another video right after this. Of We're going to get into some uh, subscription box, uh, not subscription box stuff, but the, uh, the, the bug out bag situation and all that because we, we've got all this stuff here to drink. So <laughs> if you're interested in this company, hit me up in the comment section and tell me, like, yeah, that, that's something I would be interested in trying out. If you do want to do that. If I get enough comments, I will reach back out to the company and see if I can't get you an affiliate link, maybe save you a little money, or see if I can get some kind of promo code for you guys. Because I know I know this is this is a this is an expensive box, you know, and maybe maybe I can maybe save you a little bit of money. But if you made it this far, thank you. I hope you are doing well and we're gonna get out of here and we're gonna we got a lot of stuff to do. So we'll see you next time guys. Peace.